Hello there, Taurus friends. Welcome to your mid-December 2020 reading here on my channel. My name is Myra. If this is your first time watching, welcome to your reading, guys. Um, really excited to get you guidance for mid-December through the end of the month, friends. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and memberships are available as well as gift cards, Taurus. Okay. So let's go ahead and get you a card from the um, Nature's Whispers deck here for mid-December through the end of the month. Holy Spirit, messages for my Taurus friends. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, all placements. Thank you, Archangels. Spirit guides of the highest, most holy, divine order. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, Jesus. Messages for Taurus, all who are watching and will be watching. So I'm going to switch, actually, it's the same, same author, but this one is, a focus is on love and relationships, Tara. So we'll get you one from the Whispers of Love deck for my Taurus friends, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Spirit Guides, Ancestors. Thank you, Jesus. Messages for Taurus, please. All right, friends, so you have love who you are. It says you are divine, you are delightful and deserving of the wonderful things, Taurus, that life has to offer. Beautiful, love who you are. And at the bottom of the deck, we have practice, compassion, number 30, let's see, that's number 15 and 8, 8 and 15. It says see things from a fresh perspective. Yeah, so it looks like whatever it is that you're focused on, Taurus, you do have a more loving, compassionate outlook on something. And that could be because you are loving yourself, um, seeing yourself as divine, delightful, and deserving could be causing you to also express or project that same compassion onto other people, which is really good. Um, let's get you a card from the Animal Message Oracle deck. Messages for messages, please, Holy Spirit, for my Taurus friends from the Animal Message deck. All right, so you have here the Meerkat Taurus. It says, "Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends." Okay, so you could be around friends, or you could have a need to reconnect with people, Taurus. And then it says the elk is here, which is stand tall, maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. So you have two cards that talk about deserving, being deserving, feeling deserving, getting respect that you deserve. Very good, Taurus. And then the spider is here, which is about paying attention to your creativity, right? If you have a creative spark or something that you're working on creative, that is also there. And then I'll get you an angel answer card, Taurus, from the angel answer deck. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Angels, what answers do you have for my Taurus friends from mid-December through the end of the month of December? Thank you. All right, so you have ask for help from others. Yeah, Tara is very good. So this card is about getting support from a trusted group of like-minded people. This is saying you need to ask for help, okay? And at the bottom of this deck, it says there's something better, Taurus, okay? Very good. All right, friends. So we're going to go ahead and do your tarot spread. Central issue and heart of the matter for Taurus, please. Central issue and heart of the matter for my Taurus friends. Mid-December through the end of the month. 
All right, so we have the King of Cups and the Tower. Ooh, there was a big shakeup. Maybe as it pertained to love, your could be could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could have been dealing with an Aquarius, but there was some kind of big paradigm shift. Um, the playing field could have been leveled as it pertains to love here. This tower can be unexpected events, but you know, there could be also unexpected healing and the Knight of Cups is here. Okay. Hmm. And the Five of Wands. And then the Hanging Man. So maybe there was a, there was some kind of big shift, Taurus, as it pertains, or there is going to be a big shift as it per pertains to love or something you care very deeply about. I do see the Star card can indicate, you know, also is healing. It's great healing. Um, somebody's love life could be healed. Let's get more information. What is the crossing energy for Taurus? Um, and this whole thing could be about self-love, right? It could be that you are learning how to shower yourself with love, being more transparent, feeling deserving of self-care and taking care of yourself. We got a lot of stuff come out. Hold on. They just sort of fell, Taurus. All right, so let's take a look at your crossing energy. So if something did fall apart, Taurus, I just feel like it's because there's something better for you. Yep, you have Temperance, which is Patience, the Sagittarius card, and the Ten of Pentacles in your challenge. So it does look like there's something really great out there for you. There's abundance. It could require some patience and moderation for you to get it, but it's there. All right, let's take a look at your foundational energy. I mean, this crossing energy is very abundant. It's stable. Um, just watch your spending or savings. I'm looking at these rats here. It's like they some something could have access to your savings or something like that, and could be a threat to your savings here in the challenge. Um, the Queen of Cups is in your foundational energy, something you care very deeply about. This is also being a very loving energy and loving others. But with the Knight of Pentacles here, there's the Knight. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So what it feels like, um, there could be a really big opportunity for you all. Um, I do see a Happily Ever After card, but then I see a Three of Swords which is disappointment or heartbreak. Um, maybe with, with money and career, you know, you slowly but surely move toward an opportunity. But as far as love goes, something with a relationship, family, or love could have a lot of hurt attached to it or disappointment. Let's take a look at the recent past. All right, the Two of Cups, the Seven of Wands. So this is negotiating. Um, this person could be at a distance from you, Taurus. It's somebody that you have a connection with. And so the Seven of Wands can sometimes be about negotiations, right? Um, it's also about standing your crown, having boundaries. Hmm. Let's take a look at your crowning energy. Crowning energy for Taurus, please. All right, the sun. There's that happy illumination. The three of pentacles. That's cooperation, getting help from others. And then the ten of swords. Huh, something ends. Oh, you could have been working with other people and then you decide to go solo with this full card here. It could be a sudden decision, but it looks like you guys are breaking ties. Yeah, you could be breaking ties with people. 
um, and deciding to do something on your own or something could come to an end. It could be painful, but you decide you're deciding to go it alone. Taurus, that's interesting. And then let's take a look at the outcome. So it, there could be, maybe it's not a sudden end to something, but it feels like an end to a working relationship, like retirement or you decide to break from the Jackson 5 and go solo like Michael Jackson, something like that. Can we take a look at the outcome, please, Holy Spirit? Outcome for Taurus. All right, and we have the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands. This is very creative energy. So I do feel like there could be a new Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo that you're loving, the Nine of Cups. But it feels to me like it's more of a creative energy, um, like someone has created something that has become their first love. You know what I mean? It's like that is what you're focused on. That is what your eye is on. And so you could start to get... Um, you could even be talking with somebody about traveling or getting more information, but this is a lot of accelerated movement or energy. For some of you, it's someone from your past or a past life dream that you had, something that you were really passionate about. And this outcome is beautiful, Taurus. So this is really good. Like this is good communication or energy. Something that was unexpected or maybe... It feels like something that was unexpected or off ends up becoming a real blessing. That's really, really what it looks like. Something becomes a blessing for you, Taurus, that was maybe a, um, like there could have been a big upheaval of some type. All right, so let me clarify that for you. Holy Spirit, what is this? King of Cups, the Tower, and the Star. What is the King of Cups, the Tower, and the Star, please? What is the Tower? All right, so the Empress is here. All right, Tara, so I'm clarifying your overall energy. I got a phone call. Sorry about that. But what came out basically is we're looking at this Empress, which is your energy, Venus and uh, Taurus and Libra, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Swords. So a couple things this could be, Taurus. This could be you acting on a really great idea that is very successful. It's expanding. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. If we add these other cards, the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands to this, it does look like there's some truth that comes to light, Taurus. Okay, so it changes the meaning a little bit here. There could be um, some truth that comes to light. This could also be a, about an event, right? A happy event, a marriage celebration. The King of Cups joins the party here, um, which is... This represents, he represents a love that you can trust, long-term commitment and things like that. Um, this could be somebody really deciding. Now, this could also be the truth coming out about a third-party situation as well, right? It could be. There's some kind of big change as it pertains to love. Now, it could be something you've been waiting for, something you've been wanting. Um, sometimes this Knight of Swords card is someone coming back from the past, Taurus. So it could be somebody who has had an epiphany. Um, they want to be with you. The Empress card can also represent being a wife or long-term commitment. So it looks like it could be really good energy here. This tower with the King of Cups and the, and the Aquarius card or the Star card, Taurus, because it could be, you know, something you've imagined, something that you've wanted. You have the sun the three of pentacles, the ten of swords, and the full card. Now, I don't know if you really go for it. It looks like you really focus in on your... There's something that you really love that you're creating here in your outcome. And uh, 
you could get communication in again from someone from your past with the six of cups here um but it's very happy energy guys i do feel like some of you had an expectation uh as it pertains to somebody who may have been at a distance from you with this energy down here with the three of swords the seven of wands and the two of cups in your recent past so there could have been somebody uh, you were expecting to see or something like that maybe they were blocked communication could have been blocked but um and it could have been a kind of a painful ending or something like that but whatever it is i feel like you are inspired you are in love maybe this is you being in love with you or your project Taurus. but it looks really good and um, definitely keep your dreams alive and shift your energy because whatever it is that you're feeling or excited about it brings in these other amazing beautiful things like love and commitment and like all that kind of stuff okay so if you need more guidance for your situation um click the link in the description box to book a reading or join me each day for the daily tea at three and you can get a reading on the spot for twenty dollars and twenty cents Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to buy your gift cards and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.